So when I was growing up, I would see these really handsome men on the covers of magazines, in the movies, and on the television. I always thought to myself, man, I wish I could look like that. And it was only recently that I discovered it was actually possible. Hi, if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Matty, and I follow these tips that I'm about to give you now, and I actually ended up getting scouted and signed to a modeling agency. No joke, you can go and check out my Instagram if you don't believe me. In this video, I wanna be giving you seven steps that you can follow to look like a model as a regular guy. So let's start with the body. Models and the most attractive actors tend to be in great shape. They have a low body fat, so they have visible abs, great facial definition, so you can see their cheekbones and their jawline. They have wider shoulders, and of course their muscles have great definition as well, so they're very toned. They look great in and out of clothes, and they follow a strength training program where they use weights, calisthenics, or a combination of both. So I've actually made a video on how to build an aesthetic physique with a free workout program. So definitely go and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Step number two is skincare. The face is the first thing that people see when they meet you, so it's pretty important. People will make a first impression about you based on your appearance. Your skin is one of the first things that people notice about you. It's texture, quality, and whether or not it's clear. Male models and male celebrities and male actors in general tend to shy away from talking about their skin. The other day I was watching a podcast with Sean O'Pry and Chico. What Sean said was that he just uses lots of moisturizer and drinks plenty of water, which both are legitimate things, but I have a feeling that he's doing a little bit more than that, that he's not letting on. Not really sure why they don't want people to know like what exactly they follow, but I guarantee you that pretty much all the male models who have very good skin actually have a very specific skincare routine. Whether they make that public knowledge or not is a different story. So you want to have a skincare routine because this is going to help prevent breakouts, it's going to help you look after your skin, keep it healthy. Again I've made a whole video on skincare routine so I'm not going to go into too much detail about it today, I'll just leave a link in the description below. But to sum it up, you want to have a face wash, which you want to use one to two times a day. You want to have a gentle exfoliating daily wash and a cleanser. The cleanser can be oil-based if your skin type is a little bit more oily and water-based if it's slightly less oily or normal. And then you want to use moisturizer at least once a day, ideally twice. So the moisturizer that you use is important because it protects the skin on your face. The skin can become a bit dry from washing. You also want to use a sun cream. You want to use an SPF factor sun cream, so ideally between 30 and 50 plus. This will protect you from harmful UV rays. The next one's a little bit optional, but you can get an over-the-counter benzoyl peroxide, which you can put directly on the breakouts that you have in order to kill the acne causing bacteria and reduce the size and the redness of the breakouts. You can use it between one to two times a day, depending on how tolerant your skin is, but be careful with this because it can leave the skin a little bit dry and cause it to peel. The next thing you want to have is a retinol, and you can use the retinol and apply it before bed. You also want to be drinking plenty of water, at least two to three liters of water a day, because the skin is the largest organ in the body. Quite often, when you get breakouts, it's because you have things going on inside your body. You need to be eating less processed stuff and more whole foods, plenty of fruits and vegetables, and lean meats. Skincare is a slow burner and it can take weeks to months to see any improvement, so don't be disheartened, keep on it, be consistent, and you will see positive changes. Next we have hair care. This is a highlighted feature. The way that you style your hair can massively change the way that you look. Look how much time and effort is put into hair care for models on the runway. If that doesn't tell you something about how important hair is, then I don't know what else will. Unlike skincare, which is a slow burner, hair can be changed in a day with a haircut. You can either get a haircut or you can style it, it's personal preference. And you shampoo every second day, use conditioner about twice a week. You don't really want to use combined shampoo and conditioner because they do different things. The shampoo is there to get rid of the dirt and the conditioner is there to soften your hair to help with the split ends. So actually shampoo should be used more on the scalp and the conditioner should be used more on the tips of your hair. Step number four is eyes. Eyes are the window to the soul. You want to pluck your eyebrows you don't have to shape them, you don't have to get them threaded, but if you pluck them, at least the monobrow and under the eyes, then that should do, because that will provide contrast and make them look sharper and stand out a little bit more. You want to get about seven to eight hours of sleep a night to prevent eye bags under your eyes. If you are very tired, then you can use eye drops. And of course, if you wear glasses, then make sure your glasses fit your face. Everyone has different face shapes and your glasses frame should be appropriate for your face shape. You need to find out what face shape you are and maybe go to a opticians and try out different glasses frames. 
They should add to the character of your face and not detract from it. Step number five is teeth. If your teeth are crooked, then of course get braces, use Invisalign, go see your orthodontist. We're not talking about that aspect of dental care. We're actually talking about dental hygiene here. So you wanna brush your teeth at least twice a day with fluoride toothpaste. You wanna floss at least one to two times a day as well to get in between your teeth. Even if you use an electric toothbrush, there are gonna be spots that you miss. And if you want to go an extra mile, you can use mouthwash one to two times a day as well. Step number six is don't smell. Lesson number two, come with me. What? This isn't necessarily related to looks as such, but a bad smell can ruin your look. So shower daily, use body wash on the hot spots, like under your armpits, in your groin, and on your feet, and in between your toes specifically. And then you wanna use one to two sprays of fragrances for men. Hugo Boss, Dolce & Gabbana, Prada, Tom Ford. Don't break the bank, the bottles that you get should last a while. Step number seven, clothing. The way that you dress can significantly affect the way that you are perceived by others. So for instance, I used to dress in a tracksuit and hoodie most of the time, and as comfortable as it was, no one's gonna take you seriously if you dress like that. That is the outfit that you would wear if you were going to buy soup from the supermarket if you were sick, or when you go to the pharmacist to collect medication again when you're sick. Have you ever paid attention to how male models dress? They are up to date with the latest trends with the high fashion brands. What if I told you that you can also look like a male model without breaking the bank? There are three main archetypes. You have that bad boy look, you have that traditional modern menswear, and you have the soft boy look. So the bad boy vibe is a dark leather jacket with a white t-shirt and dark trousers and black boots. Very simplistic, but it's very effective. The leather jacket is like a suit of armor. It makes you look more dominant, it makes you more attractive to women. Think like Damon Salvatore from The Vampire Diaries. This leather jacket look tends to go very well if the date is at night. Next, you have traditional menswear or modern menswear. This is a plain shirt, darker bottoms, so that would be like chinos. They could be black, navy, dark brown. And then you wanna have matching shoes, either dark brown or black. The concept behind modern menswear is that simplicity is beautiful. Next, you have the soft boy outfit. This doesn't always go so well if you're a more masculine looking man. If you have like more pretty boy features, then this could work really well for you. Here are some examples. So you have like lighter colored jeans and a cream beige, light brown jacket or jumper. You can also wear like a polo. These kind of have designs and then you match this with like designer shoes like Converse. So takeaways, if you follow these seven tips to a T, then you too can also look like a male model as a regular guy. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one. Peace. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found